around 7.30 now. I have like 30 minutes to get ready. Today's when I go to work. I typically don't get time to do my morning routine like yesterday. My breathing exercise, affirmation, cold shower. So sometime for affirmation as well as breathing, I might do it in the train or during lunchtime. It really depends on the day. Where is my primer? Where is my primer now? If you guys are new here, I wanted to clarify that this yellow curtain is not mine. It's from the previous tenant. I recently moved here. I think it's almost been two months. Actually, more than that now. Two and a half? I'm still settling in. I haven't completely finished unpacking yet. I would say I'm 80% done. And then I haven't really started decorating yet. That's why this yellow curtain is still up. It's not my choice. It's there because that's how the previous tenant left. But again, it may not be her either. It might be the tenant prior to that. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Tisha. And I'm so sorry for my <sighs> excessive yawning here. But work mornings are a struggle. For my corporate job, I'm a business systems analyst in a healthcare firm. I am 34 years old, originally from Kathmandu, Nepal, and now I live in New York City with my dog Chape. Today at work, I won't be vlogging at all. My company is very strict. They don't allow to take any photos or videos. Doesn't matter what it is. I can't even take a photo or a video of my lunch, my outfit, when I'm in the office premise. So I won't be vlogging at all. And after work today, I'm going to my sister's place to pick up Chape. I have my therapy session at 6 p.m. And I take my therapy session. It is virtual, but I take it from my sister's place. My therapist is licensed. Well, she's licensed for multiple states. And one of the states is New Jersey. She doesn't have a license for New York. So all my therapy sessions, even though it's virtual, I have to take it from my sister's place. Mm, it's getting hot. It's around 8.15 now. I need to leave in... 15 minutes so i'll get to work around 9 30 ish i think it is drizzling today and i left my umbrella at my sister's place so doing my hair probably won't even make sense because as soon as the rain lands on my hair it's gonna get puffy so i'm just gonna do this very quickly the way i do this it just adds like curls it's all i need it's very gloomy today I was just checking to see when does my first meeting starts. It starts at 10. Lunch. So for my bag today, I'm carrying this as my work bag. Chappie's carrier is with my sister, Patisha. That bag actually has a compartment to put my laptop. And since I don't have the bag today, so I'm carrying this as my work bag. Then I need to return a couple of things that I had borrowed from my sister. That's the bag for that. Ooh. And now I'm ready to go to work. place now it's drizzling my hair look at this it is so frizzy Jimmy! let's go midnight now it's 11 52 i just got home today was such a long day i was thinking to take an uber from my sister's place since it's not super late i thought i'll just take the path and then the train for some reason my train was delayed and then after that right before my stop it just stopped there for like 15 to 20 minutes and today is such a muggy day and then being stuck in one place in the train for like 15 20 minutes oh my god i couldn't wait to get home just today my commute coming back home was just annoying the train was packed it was very hard to like maneuver around plus i had chappy with me my work laptop it was just a lot i can't just wait to shower take the day off from me and get ready for bed so 
I just got my period and that explains the whole lot of why I was getting so annoyed the whole day today. So today's therapy session went really well. Today our entire session was just focused on talking about procrastination, perfectionism, and then fear of failing. So my therapy sessions are bi-weekly and each session is 50 minutes. vlog in the morning i was rushing i logged in for work already in the morning i always have water juice and then coffee remember the dalgona coffee that got viral during the pandemic that's what i'm trying to do but i think i failed oh still not bad yeah i could have mixed it a little bit more but not bad back to work we go i love seeing all my plants here This is what I'm saying, I'll have my water, my juice, and then my coffee. For lunch today, I'm eating pasta that I cooked a few days ago. Today too, otherwise, is the same thing. It's gloomy and muggy. But at the same time, you need something thin, like an outerwear to wear on top. Oh, I forgot this. around 8 15 now after work instead of just sitting on my couch and then decompressing i end up going for a longer walk i was feeling blah the whole day and now i feel so much better doesn't matter how you're feeling walking definitely helps to lift up the spirits so right now i'm oiling my hair i'm using dabur amla which is very common in a south asian household this is an indian hair oil and whenever i wear this it reminds me of my home growing up i used to oil my hair a lot either my grandmom my mom's mom or my dad's mom they used to put on hair oil or my mom used to put it on but once i moved i stopped putting hair oil plus this one has a very distinct smell to it too so as i grow older my hair has started to thin so that's one of the main reasons i want to start taking care of my hair properly growing up i was very lucky so let's say when i used to part my hair like this right one part of my hair it used to be as thick as this and i used to complain so much saying that my hair was thick and i used to wish that my hair was thinner and whenever i used to get a haircut i always used to request to get those razor cuts that helps not just add layer but it also helps to thin the hair because it's a razor cut just with this hair oil session i lost this much of hair this is nothing when i shower it's like triple amount of this so now hoping the OG hair oil helps me. So in Nepal, if you're doing the old way or the authentic way, we will be using mustard oil, which is called Toriko Tel. That one smells way stronger than this. It's just like when you use very strong hair oil, like strong as in smell wise, it is just way harder to take it off from your hair. So when you're washing your hair, you just have to wash it for a longer time just to remove all the smell. This one, I'm able to do it. But with that Toriko Tail mustard oil, it takes a while. Maybe I should go the authentic route once in a while. Remember the chicken that I forgot to take it out from the freezer last time? I remember to take it out this time around. Oh my god. Guys, I am just clum oh, I'm just clumsy in general. the chicken it actually looks really good i don't typically say that when i cook chicken it's almost 9 40 now i'm just gonna move on to the rice because i need to cook do dishes shower since my stove in the previous apartment used to be electric 
There is such a huge difference between gas versus electric stove. Such a huge difference. Ever since I've moved here, I feel like anything I've cooked, everything has come out good so far. So I am planning to buy a rice cooker and additional pans. For pans, if you guys have any recommendation, do please let me know. So the rice is ready, but it's overcooked again. I was doing dishes and I did not realize that it was on high heat. So it looks okay, just a little bit soggy. So this is my rice and pseudo chicken chili. So in Nepal, well, just not only in Nepal, in majority of South Asian countries, we use our fingers to eat our meal. It's not always the case, there are exceptions. If I'm eating noodles, chow mein, I will use a fork. If I'm eating soup, then I'll use a spoon. If I'm eating rice, my preference is always to use fingers. This actually came out really good. So right now, I'll start getting ready to go to a baby shower. I have to check the location, but it is in, I think, Weehawken in New Jersey. So my teeth are very sensitive right now because I don't know if you can see it. So I got temporary crown for now. I will get my permanent crown in two weeks. So I'm fixing this crooked teeth here. Initially, I was debating if I want to fix it or not. I'm almost done with my Invisalign. After my Invisalign treatment is done, in order to maintain whatever has been improved with Invisalign, I will have to wear a night retainer. So the night retainer will be molded based on my teeth are. So I thought before I get my retainer, which will be with me for years, I thought I would fix this chipped tooth. So yesterday, after work, I went to my dentist that is also in Jersey. They placed a temporary crown. I didn't realize how much of the actual tooth they shave in order to fit a crown. I would say like 40% of my actual tooth was remaining. Everything else was a gap. I have never done a crown before and I didn't know what to expect. And when he was shaving it, obviously I couldn't feel it because they had numbed my uh, this area and that injection was actually painful too, to numb it. Actual crown will not be chipped and the color will match closer to my other teeth. This is just temporary. My next appointment is in two weeks and then I think I'll get my retainer after two weeks of that and I'm done with my Invisalign. I think in the camera it looks fine but in reality this the color does not really match. I'm talking about this part. It's not too obvious which is fine. It's only for two weeks so. So right now this part of my face is a bit sensitive. Up until they install the crown, I can't have any sticky food like gum, caramel. Also, I can't floss in this section. And then I can't have, well, not just hot water, anything that is basically hot liquid. If you have watched my old vlogs either from last year or year prior, I had explained how I met Chani. So Chani is the mother-to-be. I met her at work almost 10 years ago. We only worked together for like a year before she moved to a different company. We were in the same department but in different teams and she's Nepali as well. In our company, we don't have a lot of Nepali people. Like even right now, I only know one Nepali person. Well, no, two Nepali people. That's it. And when Chani and I were working together, it was only her and I. I went to a wedding two years ago. I vlogged about it too. And now I'm going for her baby shower. So just like me, she does content creation on the side. And at the baby shower, I'm meeting some of my other friends as well. I always feel my skin looks way better here than in actual life. I'm actually breaking out here still. So. I am getting a lot of pimples here. So for today's shower, the dress code is either pink or blue. So if you're a team girl, you'll have to wear pink. And if you're a team boy, then you'll have to wear blue. I'm always team girl. I'm very biased. I have two options I'm thinking to wear today. Chuck is eating his breakfast. He loves to eat his dry food with eggs. So the first option is this one. I really love the neck as well as the sleeves but i do need to iron it and i have to leave in like 15 minutes so yeah this is gonna be a no i got this couple of years ago and i've only worn it like twice and the reason is because i need to iron it or steam it this is the second option it has the ruching on the front it even has this like cut out on the front as well cut out on the side the back looks like this this is my ootd today i'm just wearing these light color heels and then the summer bag i think i like the outfit i 
I'm waiting for my Uber now. So the address that I was supposed to go to is 115, not 1150 River Road. I got to the wrong place. from baby shower like an hour ago and I just sat on the couch and did nothing literally I don't know what has happened ever since like ever since this move I realized I've gotten older drastically compared to last year I get tired so easily so for my cupcake what I did was I cut the cupcake into half and placed the icing in between and now it is a cupcake sandwich in the past I would have been able to function with just like three hours of sleep or four hours of sleep but lately I have not been able to do that I don't know what's happening or maybe I'm just tired pushing myself too much too, you know? Your body can only sustain to a certain limit and after that it starts crashing down. Today the only thing I've done so far is I attended my friend's baby shower, took Chappie for a walk, that's it. I'm saying this and I'm still planning to sleep super late tonight since I haven't edited anything for tomorrow's upload. I'm actually going to make coffee right now. It's 6pm. I typically do not drink coffee this late. Ooh. Even after saying this, I'm still pushing myself. I am trying to work on having a work-life balance because right now, I don't have that. Today's baby shower was a surprise for everyone. My friend Chanli and Sherry, her husband, knew that the kids are going to be twins. No one knew about it. None of their family, none of their friends knew about it. So it was a surprise for everyone. They did such a good job with the surprise, food, decoration, everything. While my coffee is getting ready, I had received a couple of questions regarding Chape's separation anxiety. So for his separation anxiety, these are all the things that the vet had recommended. So the CBD that I give to Chape is this one, Ellie Vet. I give him 0.1 M. I don't give him CBD every day. The vet had mentioned to give him twice daily, but I don't do that. I only give it to him when I know I will be out and about for a prolonged period of time. Only that day is when I will give him CBD. And that also I'll give it give him twice or once. And each dose is, is 0.1 ml. Beside that, I give him his high reward toy. So high reward toy is basically his favorite toy and he only gets this when I'm not in the apartment. As soon as I'm back, I'll put it away and I'll keep it in a place where he can't reach it. And then this is his high reward treat. It doesn't need to be this brand, it can be any. It's basically a treat that Chape really loves to eat but he only gets it right before I'm about to leave my apartment. So what I do for the treats is I actually disperse small pieces on the couch, some in the bedroom. I do that right before I'm about to leave. In that way when I'm leaving the apartment he's busy looking for treats. And beside that on my TV I will have rain noise on. It's just a YouTube video. I'll put it in the description box below if you guys are interested. It's just a rain noise that lasts for like eight hours so that's in the living room and for the bedroom i have my white noise machine on and i have that on even at night when i'm sleeping so beside all of this i also have chabe's camera on so currently his camera is not working i did order one but i was having issues with the setup so today too i had my facetime on on my macbook and my sister patisha she was on facetime with me and that's how we monitor chabe and so far there's been no issues Chape has been doing very well. He hasn't shown any distress. He hasn't barked because of separation anxiety. So eventually, I will stop giving him CBD. But since this apartment is still very new, I do want to monitor him for a couple of more weeks before I stop giving him CBD. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. Lately, my vlogs have been a mixture of weekday and weekend vlogs. I feel like it's kind of been all over, but I really hope you guys still enjoy it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel whenever you interact with the video either it could be like subscribe comment sharing or just watching it's 
signals YouTube algorithm to push out the video to a larger audience. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I still see in my stats that more than 50% of people who are watching are not subscribed to the channel yet. If you hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. If you have an Instagram, my Instagram is Tisha Shashta. And we will see you guys in our next one. Bye.